This video will show you how to navigate to your prioritized focus areas for cycle four in the web-based tip. In order to navigate to your prioritized focus areas for cycle four, you will need to select needs assessment from the left-hand menu. From the drop-down menu, you will need to select prioritize focus areas. You'll notice two tabs at the top of your page. The first tab says prioritize focus areas cycles one through three. The second tab says prioritize focus areas cycle four. Select prioritize focus areas cycle four. On this page, you will notice two sections. In the first section, please note that as you hover over the question mark sign, it gives you additional instructions. This section is where any essential actions that are prioritized will show up in the web-based platform. In order to prioritize an essential action, you may do so by selecting the star next to that essential action. You'll notice as you hover over the star, it reminds you that this button allows you to prioritize. However, prior to prioritizing an essential action, you will need to fill out the necessary information for each plan element. To do so, you will need to select the plus sign next to the star. You'll see as you hover over the plus sign, it says expand. When you select expand, you'll notice different options for you to fill out. You can answer your rationale, who you will partner with, how you will build capacity in this essential action, how you will communicate these priorities to your stakeholders and create buy-in, your desired annual outcome, and your district commitment theory of action. Let's see what happens if I try to prioritize this essential action prior to filling out this information. I'm selecting the star to prioritize. The web-based tip reminds me that I need to provide the required fields for this essential action and then prioritize it. Please remember to fill out the necessary information prior to selecting the prioritize button. Also remember to save your progress prior to moving on. You can save your progress by selecting the save button at the bottom of each page when you're finished typing in your response or the save all button at the very bottom of the screen. You will also notice that for each essential action, you will need to select your implementation level. For campuses that did not have a fall 2021 or a spring 2022 diagnostic, you will use your implementation levels from your self-assessment tool that you completed in the platform. For campuses that did have a fall 2021 or a spring 2022 diagnostic, you will need to select the implementation levels from your final diagnostic report. Prior to moving on, please remember to save all.